I'm super excited about a new development in the world of video conferencing. See, there are two common ways that people look bad or emotionally distant on a video call or recording. The first is cheap and easy to solve, and the second was difficult or expensive to solve. See, this new development solves number two. Let me quickly cover the first problem because it's so easy. This is having the camera at the wrong height. So then you are looking down on the other person or showing off the inside of your nose and your double chin. The solution is just to change the height of your webcam. If you're on a laptop, add some books below until the camera is at the same level as your eyes. If you're on a desktop, the problem is usually the opposite. You're looking up at the other person. Not as bad, but still a little awkward. Just adjust your chair or sit on a pillow. Problem number one, solved. Problem number two has been the difficult one, and that's making eye contact with the other person. See, to them it feels like you're making eye contact if you stare into your webcam, but if you actually look them in the eye on your screen, which feels natural, then to them it looks like you're looking at their chest. Not a good thing. We've kind of gotten used to this behavior, but when someone doesn't stare at our chest and actually looks us in the eye during a Zoom call, then we tend to notice. I'm a big fan of striving to be the best instead of just matching the lowest common denominator. Up until last week, the solutions were either to stare into the green dot at the top of the screen, actually have little eyeballs up there to make it easy to remember, or you could drop $700 on a teleprompter, and this was my recommendation before this new development. Or the third option that I never really liked was to use an acrylic mount to put your webcam mid-screen. But now someone took the innards of a high quality webcam and put those on a string connected to the rest of the electronics at the other end of the cable, and they call it the Mecha webcam. The smallest necessary part of the webcam can go in front of your monitor, blocking just a little bit of the screen. And you can put the camera right above the other person's eyes on Zoom. About a year ago, someone else invented something very similar. However, the video quality wasn't very good, so I never recommended it. Now the convenience and quality are packed into this little device, and if I find a newer, better option, you'll find a link to that video in the upper right-hand corner. So let me show you the Mecha webcam. So this is it. It is, it comes with a light, and this is that miniature webcam that I talked about with the tiny little um, cable connecting it. So you can mount this in the middle of your screen, and that's what's so amazing about it. So let me see here. I'm gonna take this, what it does, is it sticks to your screen, or if you're on a laptop like this, it actually comes with a little magnet that you can put on the back of your computer so you don't have a little sticky thing on your screen. Um, so it's another option. I found that this works just fine. I haven't gotten any sticky stuff on my screen. So it's a retractable lead here, and you can just pull it down, and it will work its way back up and sit inside here. And then when you want to take it back out, you just pull it out and it'll lock and you can stick it to your screen. One thing that I don't like about this um, is that it's hard to make sure that it's level. Most people I think would just take this and put it directly above, which might keep it a little bit, having it sit like that so that the cable is directly up. But one of the things I really like about it is it allows you to put the light slightly off center, which makes you look better. And um, I'll show you what this looks like at night too. So you can see this is what it looks like when this is the only source of light in the room. Maybe it's not the best look, but it works in a pinch. So it doesn't need to be directly in line with their eyes. If you push it over to the side or right above them, uh, people aren't gonna notice. It's obviously a lot better than being at the top of the screen, which would be above their head. So it has a built-in microphone that you can use. Just turn it on and off here. I found that the microphone is about as good as the microphone in my iMac Pro, so I don't really need it. It also has different colors of lights. However, uh, the button on mine is not working right now, but this is the way it's supposed to work is you can change this and it works sometimes. It's just that there's a little glitch in the button. Um, you can change it to different colors and different amounts of light. So it comes with a regular USB connection, but it also has an adapter. So if you have only the USB-C connections, you can adapt it and connect into your laptop. And everything comes inside this nice hard case to keep it all it all together. It has a number of these additional sticky things. So if your sticky things stop sticking, you can add a new one. 
it just clips on to the top of your laptop or your desktop. There's a lot of flexibility there. And then it can tilt up and down if you want to move the light around. And one more thing, because this does lower the webcam on your screen to get it closer to their eyes, you do need to add a couple more books to your tower to raise up your laptop and get the new uh, webcam at your eye level. One additional thing that this can be used for is that it can turn your computer into a teleprompter without that $700 outlay that I mentioned earlier. In fact, I've been reading a script for most of this video using this new webcam mounted just above my scrolling text. So it's summer 2022, and this is the camera that I recommend to my clients. You can buy it with the link below. I'll update that link if they change their store. If I find a different option that I think is better than this one, I'll post an update that you can find up here. Otherwise, if you have $700 burning a hole in your pocket, I've got a video about that other teleprompter I mentioned earlier.